Hey guys, it's Sailor Drew, and one of the most frequent questions I get is how do I play Love Nikki on my computer? You guys have seen me use emulators before while I've done Love Nikki live streams, um, also some guides in the past, but I also find it extremely useful to use it while making those guides. Mainly, it's because it's a million times easier to type out a clothing item on a traditional keyboard than it is my phone. Uh, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install an emulator and in turn install Love Nikki. But we'll go over some additional things like possible downsides to using one and some quirky issues you might run into. Not only that, but as a bonus, I'll show you how to upload your game's wardrobe to the Nikki's info site, which is a tool a lot of players use to get outfit suggestions for levels and the like, specifically tailored to them. Okay. First, the emulators. There are two popular options here. We've got Knox, which can be found at BigKnox.com, and BlueStacks, which, I mean, can be found at BlueStacks.com. Uh, I've tried both of these out for a period of time, and personally, I prefer Knox. While both of them can be a bit temperamental with randomly shutting down and restarting, I've had less issues with Knox. Plus, I appreciate how much cleaner the user interface on Knox looks over BlueStacks. So the first step should be obvious in that we need to download the installer, and while we do that, I want to announce a couple things. First up is that I now have a full-fledged Discord. I've got dedicated text and voice chats for the games featured on this channel like Love Nikki, Stardew Valley, and Mind Magic. There are some general chat rooms too, so check that out. The link will be in the description down below, and I'm even working on my own emotes, which will be fun. The second thing is that I've changed up my channel schedule, which you can also find on my Discord's Defax. Uh, but basically I intend to post every day, and I'll be sure to cover that in my next few Let's Play videos. Okay, now let's fire up the installer. And there will be a few prompts to get it installed, but anything you run into, you'll just want to keep the default settings and say yes to. It's pretty simple. I already have Knox installed, so let's open up this bad boy up. And it's pretty basic looking and probably really similar to your phone's home screen, right? So nothing too foreign, but there are a few apps already present. These will cycle between different ones being featured and advertised, so I ignore them, really. You can go ahead and click on them if you want and check them out if you're interested in adding a game to your repertoire, but let's move on. Using this search bar, let's look for Love Nikki. And bingo. However, since this is the first time we're using Knox, it'll prompt us to attach an existing Google account or to create a new one. I have an existing one, so I'll go ahead and log in. And now I can pull up Love Nikki. This page is identical to what it looks like in Google Play Store on your phone, so it's pretty self-explanatory, right? Emulator. Just install it, and now that that's on our Knox home screen, let's double-click the icon to open it up. Now, this is an important step because chances are some of you haven't done this yet, but you can only open up your Love Nikki account with all of your fancy clothes, diamonds, gold, etc. If you have linked your account through either email or Facebook, it doesn't matter, but seriously, if you haven't linked your account by now, do it. This is the only way to protect your hard earned stuff like, oh, I don't know, if you drop your phone in the toilet and your phone gets fried. <laughs> But enough of the lecture, so I'm going to go ahead and log into my account and take another breather while the game loads in all of my data. Since this takes a while, maybe take some time to mess with some of the buttons on the right, figure out how to change the volume and whatnot. Once you've loaded in, that's it. You're now able to play Love Nikki on your computer. Now a few things before you run off. There's almost a guarantee that using an emulator will reshuffle the order of your wardrobe items when you sort them by new. Like, just doing this again 
uh, to show you guys how to do everything it has shoveled things up even more than they already were because you can see some of the older stuff mixed in with the event pieces that I got a couple days ago. It's not a huge deal as it still does have your new step towards the top, just not in the exact order received. This new order of items will also carry over to your phone or tablet, so be forewarned. Speaking of which, you cannot be logged into Love Nikki on the emulator and your mobile device at the same time. You'll get a message on either or basically saying that you can't be in two places at once, so just stop. <laughs> Log out of whichever one lost the unseen battle royale for app dominance and act accordingly. I actually need Knox open, so I'm just going to close out of the app on my phone. Close Nikki on Knox by hitting the back button a few times and then open it back up. Now, if you're still with me, let's go ahead and take a look at how to get your game's wardrobe uploaded to the Nikki's info site. Go to the website, click on My LN. If you don't already have an account with them, you'll need to make one, which is crazy simple as you don't even need to use your email address. Now, before I show you this, I have to let you know that it's actually majorly frowned upon to tamper with the game's files by Elix and goes against their user policy. I also want to point out that if you don't follow the steps I show you to the exacts and somehow destroy your game, that is not my fault. That's on you. So with me? Okay, let's do this. After you've opened up Nikki at least once and logged into your account, go back to the Knox homepage. Click on this cog up to the top to see if the root box is checked, and if it's not, then go ahead and do so. Have the program restart to apply the change, and after you get back into Knox, click on the file manager. To retrieve your game's wardrobe data, click on data, data again, and look for the file called com.elix.nikki.gp. Go into the files and uh, uh, user debt. Um, but before we touch anything in here, let me save you a headache later on. Click these eight dots here and add this folder to your bookmarks. This way you can access this folder lickety split in the future should you need to update Nikki's info again after a while. Click the checkbox to select the close file and we're done with this folder. Go back to the very beginning of where we started at in the file manager and let's go into here into shared and then other. Remember how to make a bookmark? Yeah, you're going to want to do that again. These are the only two folders in Knox we need to be messing with. And unless you have some sort of crazy good memory, making these bookmarks will save you a lot of grief later on. Now, our goal here is to copy over the close file that we selected. Click on the dots again and be sure to only click the copy selection here. Again, I cannot be held responsible for any other shenanigans you get up to. Copying the close file here will now allow us to retrieve the file and upload it. You can find the file in your C Drive's user folder in Knox Share. It'll be sitting pretty in the folder titled Other. If you want to bookmark this folder as well, you can just drag it over to your quick access list like I'm doing here. I pin folders all the time, as you can see, because I have 5 billion folders since I'm neurotic like that. <laughs> neurotic, yes, but I also like to keep things simple, so I drag the close file to the desktop. Not only does it allow me to find it easier to upload to the website, but it lets me delete it off of my computer after I do so. Remember, we left the original file back in the game, so this is only a copy. A copy that's useless to us once we've uploaded it to Nikki's info. Now you can use their website to get outfits tailored specifically to you. Wham, bam, thank you ma'am. Another quick side note is that I have never made purchases through Knox. I'm a bit paranoid I guess because I'm not really sure about its security, so do so at your own discretion. 
Besides that, having an emulator is pretty handy, and really, you can download several other games. Most of what's in Google Play will be available to you through Knox, so go wild. You might see me use it in the future for some other mobile app games I plan on checking out, so be on the lookout for that. And that's everything for now. So if this video helped you out, be sure to throw some support my way by hitting that like button, share it to your Love Nikki Facebook group or Reddit, and if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell to be alerted when I post new content or go live, which has been known to happen. And until next time, take care guys.